In this video, you will learn some methods to find quick answers on Google search. There are few questions which you can immediately find answers on Google search and I will show you how. These are some of the examples where you can literally find a unique answer within few seconds. So before I start doing uh, searches on Google, I will walk you through some of the examples which I will be doing. For example, if you want to know what is the time in any particular city, you can immediately find just by typing time and the name of the city. Similarly, weather report for any city, weather and the name of the city. If you want to get the pronunciation of a particular word, I used to go to a dictionary and then type the word, then there is a speaker button, click on that and then I get the, I used to get the pronunciation. But now, I found that you just type pronounce and then the word and Google will show you the pronunciation. Now, similarly, population, you can find the population of a country or of a city, doesn't matter. If you want to find the definition of a word, you can use operator, define, define, colon and then the word. So, you don't have to put these quotation marks. I am just putting this because to make it prominent within the sentence. Now, similarly, when is the next sunrise in any location? Just type sunrise and the location. Similarly, in order to convert any units from one unit to another, it's very simple. Uh, here I am giving you one example that how many centimeters are there in a foot. So, you will see how easy it is to find all these information. So, let us see how can we do these queries within few seconds. So, the first was time in Toronto. So, I just type time Toronto and enter and Google immediately shows me the time in Toronto. So, the next was weather in Sydney. So, weather report of Sydney will be immediately available to us and as you can see that it shows me all the weather report and also I can see this uh, forecast from a government website which is .gov.au. So, all this information within just a uh, few seconds. Now, let us uh, pronounce the word verbatim and now Google gives us this uh, speaker uh, icon here and if I click on this, verbatim. it will show me the pronunciation of this word. So, next was population of China. So, just type population and China. It is simple and it will show us the population. So, next we want to find the definition of etymology. So, we use an operator define and with a colon and then we type the word and then we type the word and it defines the word here, the study of the origin of words and the way in which their meanings have changed throughout history. Now, if I want to get the sunrise time for Sydney tomorrow, I can immediately get it from here, sunrise and any location. And the last was how to convert a unit. So, we were looking for how many centimeters are in one feet. So, we will say feet in centimeters, so in is the operator. So, we want feet in centimeters. So, instead of writing the whole fit, I can even write ft and then in is the operator and then centimeter and it will show me that one feet equals 30.48 centimeters and if for example, I want uh, fit in inches. So, one in is the operator and then I put another in for inches and it will show me one inch equals 0 0.083 feet. So, this is how you can find answers to these simple queries within a second or two and there could be other queries for example, sunset and uh, I might have missed something here. So, you will uh, learn with the experience. 